What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I have a sheet metal project coming up that is gonna have me using my Harbor Freight 30 inch sheet metal brake quite a bit. Now, having had this thing for a while, there are a few improvements that need to be made. Um, overall, I mean, this thing's not bad, but it can be improved. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today. So the first issue that I have found is anytime that you're trying to bend anything kind of on the higher end of what this thing is supposedly capable of bending, you run into an issue with this machined piece here not really being sturdy enough. So let's take, for example, this is some, what is this? This is like 18. Ooh. This is some 16 gauge. I believe this is pretty much at the upper end of what this thing is claimed to be capable of bending. But let's just say I wanted to put a, a break in this. So to, to work it, obviously you'd put it in, you put it underneath this piece here, and then you would clamp this down. So I'm gonna do that right here. Put a couple of clamps on here. Now, what I have found is normally especially on a longer piece. This one isn't too bad because it's, it's relatively short. It doesn't take up the full width of the, the space available on this brake. But I have found that if you're doing something of this, of like this 16 gauge, and you're doing it a more full width piece, that you have to have more than two clamps. You have to have the clamps obviously on the ends, and then you gotta have one or two more towards the center, because what happens, now let me tighten this down, I decided I have this loosely bolted to my bench here, so this may not be the best demonstration, but let me try to get the camera in here and see if it'll, if I can show this well enough. All right, hopefully this will, hopefully this will show up well. So I have the piece clamped into the, into the brake, and when I go to bend it, see that? Look at, look at the edges. Watch, watch the front of the clamp bar here. See how that begins to, to raise up? There just isn't enough support keeping this down to hold the piece you wanna bend securely. So to fix that problem, the first thing I wanna do is weld on a piece of this angle iron to the clamp bar. Now, in order to do that, I need to clearance the sides of the brake. All right, and here you can see what I'm talking about. See how this sits proud. So if I try to put this on there, it's not gonna sit down where I need it to. So the first thing I need to do is clearance this area here on both sides. All right, well, there you can see, I've got the side piece clearance down, just cut a notch out of it, and now the angle iron sits nice and flush along the top of that cross beam there, the clamp piece. There's the other notch right there. And all I did was I just used an angle grinder. I scribed along the top of the side, or along the top here, along that side. That gave me my cut line. And then I just use my angle grinder to uh, cut that piece off. Now I'm gonna weld, I'm gonna clamp this all together and I'm gonna weld this angle iron to this cross piece. Once I got everything clamped, I went ahead and just did a couple, like an inch or so long weld every, every few inches along the top. And I did the same thing on the back side here on the bottom. So now I'm gonna let that cool and then I'll move on to the improvement number two. With that clamp bar stiffened up, the next step or the next improvement is gonna to be to eliminate any need for clamps. So in order to eliminate the need for any clamps to clamp the, uh, the bar down or to clamp the piece into the sheet metal brake, I left my angle iron pieces long here. So here it overhangs the side and this side also. And I did that so that I could drill a hole and add a half inch bolt that extends up through the angle iron and that'll give me a way to run a bolt down to clamp this down. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna tack weld these bolts to both sides. I've already gone ahead and, and cleaned up the surface here, so I'm just gonna add a few tacks to, the, to those two bolts. All right, so now that I got the two bolts welded in place, I need to add some adjustability to the bar here. So with the bolts in there and with this in place, the bar that clamps the sheet metal into the brake is right up against the hinge point. I need to be able to have this thing adjust forward or back based on the thickness of the sheet metal I'm trying to bend. So to do that, all I'm gonna do on the holes that go over the bolts, I'm just gonna elongate those holes a little bit. And to do that, I'm just gonna use a carbide cutter and a die grinder. Now that I got my adjustability taken care of, I went ahead and I gave the angle iron just a, a quick coat of paint. And there's one more modification that I wanna make. So, I mean, yeah, you could take your, the piece you're working with, this that same 16 gauge sheet metal, put it on your brake, you know, drop your, your clamp in place, run a couple of nuts down, clamp it, bend it. And then when you're done, lift this off. And remove your your piece mm, that could be a little bit better so what i did was i picked up a couple of springs from mcmaster car i'll leave a link down below these are three and a half inches long i believe 28 pounds i believe a compression weight something like that so these i got i'm gonna drop them on the on the uh, bolts on the side a couple of washers now I can put, if I can put it on straight, put my clamp bar in place. And then I got a couple of coupling nuts. Um, got two of them, one for each side. Again, I ordered them from, from McMaster Car and I'll leave a link down below. I wanna put a couple more washers. And then, put these coupling nuts in place. And the reason I went with coupling nuts is because they're longer. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I may get some knobs to put on top of them. Um, or I may just make like a, like a T-bar out of some round stock and you know, make a, like a big thumb screw out of them. Um, but for now, you know, I mean, you could always use, you know, you know three quarter inch open end wrench. I'm going to use the impact. Drive them down. And now I could bend this piece and when I'm done, loosen those up, piece comes right out. And it just keeps everything in place and just makes it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. So again, same 16 gauge sheet metal that I, that I showed in the beginning of the video. Let's uh, see how this works. All right, so same setup. I got the 16 gauge clamped into the brake. Let's see if that brace helps at all. Oh yeah, you can see, I mean, it still raises up a little bit, but not nearly as much as it was before. It's a lot more sturdy. And yeah, it definitely held that in a lot better. I didn't have to mess with any clamps. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this thing works. Well, there you go, guys. There's a 90 degree bend in a piece of 16 gauge sheet metal. Um, still has some flex, but it was greatly reduced. I mean, I could add a few gussets maybe across the front here, and that would probably help. But overall, I mean, it big improvement. 
Definitely reduce the amount of flex. It's a lot quicker getting the piece in and out, not having to mess with a bunch of clamps. I'm happy with this. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. It all helps get the video some, some exposure and get it out there. So I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one.